I've got another interesting setup for the trading day would be for the May uh, the 17th, maybe May 17th. Today's the 16th. Um, it's um, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time here right now, so we're in Asian session still. And this is a good time. I usually will um, take this, you know, hour or so to just kind of go over some charts, look at news. Um, anyway, this is a EuroCAD pair. And right off the bat, we've got news at 4.30 a.m. So I'm hesitant. Um, it's another one that I'm looking at. It's interesting. It's setting up really nicely. But there's news again. So, uh, but what I may do this time is actually place a, a uh, sell stop order. This is a sell trade um, because I missed a bunch of trades yesterday um, just because I was waiting for London breakout and um, a lot of the action happened towards the tail end of the Asian session and I was asleep. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I may want to catch this early because I think it's going to happen before London even opens. And that's, you know, that's just a gut feeling. I don't know if it's going to happen, of course. So anyway, um, first of all, um, just want to go over the, uh, the daily. Um, what I do with just about all my reviews or analysis, I start at the daily and I don't go crazy on the daily. I just, as you can see, I just have one, two, three, levels, uh, significant levels that I've picked out and those are going back to um, some obvious structure. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so we have those to go on. Um, and this is a really, really strong level here. We've got one, two, three, four touches. Um, we had this double, you know, the the uh, double top kind of bottomed out here, um, so that's pretty significant. And um, this is a fairly significant level uh, at the top here. So these, these are kind of what I'm going off of because there's not much else above it. Um, so, um, so if I jump down into my trading times, which is the one hour chart, and I, let me just uh, make the chart legible. Oh, I guess I should actually jump back out to the four hour first just to show you how um, so I was out on the daily and then um, I jumped down to the four hour and I draw my intermediate um, trend line so we've got a low here um, and this is just a, a good baseline to go off of so I've got a couple of good touches along the way we've been in a major uptrend with this pair um, for a little while now since the middle of about a month so since about the middle of April we've been in an uptrend um, and now we've um, looks like we're getting into a bit of a ranging um, type deal um, but we'll see I don't know um, but anyway that's the four hour view and then I'll jump down into the one hour which is obviously what I mentioned is my trading time um, and let me just jump in to show you what I've got here so <clears throat> Basically what we have here is a cipher pattern that's forming. It hasn't formed. I'm just projecting this out. Um, and I'm doing that because I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm doing that because I've got this really strong level of resistance up here from the daily. And we have this nice trend line, which has a couple of touches along the way. So I'm basically just forecasting, just going on those two things, as well as looking at the structure here. We've been making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. So we're going to be coming back down into higher lows again. So I'm projecting right about, oh, right about here at this level, um, not quite um, at the D. Um, and maybe a little bit before or, or near this trend line to hit um, the D leg. And so that's basically what I'm setting up this trade for. So I've got a um, stop loss of 25 pips with a target of 65 pips. So a decent trade. Um, but again, like I said, we're in Asian right now. Um, I'd like to see it hit this uh, level of resistance up here. And if that does in the next, say, by midnight, that's what I'm really hoping for. If it does that, then I'm going to go ahead and place my sell stop before I go to sleep tonight because I'm just going to just go ahead and say um, I'm going to make an entry at like 15088, somewhere around there, it looks like, um, is what I was looking at, which would give me a good 25 pip um, stop loss and a 65 pip um, target, profit target. And that seems like a pretty, 
pretty good amount. It's not overly aggressive. I think it's just right. So we shall see. Good luck to you all, and hopefully this was interesting. Take care.